Thank you, I did that all on my first day of my period too. Can you believe it? Thank you so much to MTV for believing in my weirdness from day one and for helping artists extend their worlds beyond a song. There are so many things that have to align to have a long and successful career as an artist. There are no decade-long accidents. So I would like to acknowledge a few people. My team, who have been with me for over 20 years, direct management, and my label, Capitol Records. Trust me, it takes a village of strong people, a lot of healthy discourse, and a lot of group chats. My parents and my family, the deepest roots I know, we don't always agree, but what a lesson that those disagreements can still be full of love. Thank you to MySpace, Warp Tour, and all the bygone places where I found a voice, identity, and a community so early on. Thank you to the friends that were there when my Jetta was repossessed. My Katie Cats, who stood by me for a lifetime, and the LGBTQ community who I recognize I would not be here without and who show me that you can be both kind and <laughs> Thank you to Orlando for keeping me grounded, celebrated, and doing the dishes. And lastly, for my Daisy, the only flowers I'll ever need. I'm excited when I look around music today and I see all the amazing young artists who are operating with confidence, agency, vulnerability, and authenticity. I've heard a lot of do this, don't say that, wear less, wear more now, hey. Don't cut your hair. One of the biggest reasons I'm standing here right now is I learned how to block out all the noise that every single artist in this industry has to constantly fight against, especially women. I just wanna say with my whole heart, do whatever it takes to stay true to yourself and true to your art. Turn off social media, safeguard your mental health, pause, touch grass. And do what you were born to do, just like I was born to do this. 143 comes out September 20th. I love you!